Hey guys, welcome back. Another episode of the Productive Not Busy podcast with me, Coach Wayne, where we are addressing the needs of business owners and planting the seed for a secure future. When I'm in organizations, the top three things I hear from everybody, I want more time, I want more money, I want less stress. Remember, it's about attitude, action, and approach. And I can help you with that. What's happening, everybody? Coach Wayne here. Today's podcast is about building rapport. Everybody needs to look at this real hard in your relationships, in sales, as managers, as coaches, as people in general. Because really, without rapport, you don't even have a ticket to the game. You know, trust is a monumental when it comes to negotiation, sales, life, relationships. They say our brains store decisions about a majority of our life's interactions. So it's similar to, you know, liking or disliking a food, um, fearing salespeople, politics, right? It, it's an automatic without any base of fact that if somebody has a different political view than you, do you see them differently and not equal as you? You know, so in life, sales, business, you always have to have like a pre-approach technique on how to reframe or frame questions or your first interaction with somebody. It improves your odds of not triggering a negative thought towards you and, and vice versa of you not producing a negative view of somebody else. Um, You know, building rapport is basically trust. Humans are ingrained with the initial approach of, are you like me or not like me? And that's how we determine how that goes. You know, that's the initial process the brain takes when you meet somebody for the first time. Again, in politics, uh, their favorite sports team, food, religion, all of those really have a predetermined path for our rapport with others. Finding common ground is an absolute fastest way to build trust with somebody. Um, it's it's kind of funny. I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, you walk into, a, you're out of town and you walk into a, um, a sports bar and somebody's wearing your favorite team's t-shirt. You're absolutely more likely to strike up a conversation and have something in common with that person than you would if you walked in the door and somebody's wearing your arch rival's t-shirt or if they have a Trump shirt on or if they have a Biden shirt on or if they have an Obama shirt on you're going to form an opinion based off of what your beliefs are on whether or not you like that person so to it's a great thing to have a predetermined pre-approach to how you're going to approach everybody and obviously those religion politics that type of thing is really something to really stay away from You know, rapport between people who have established mutual trust is huge. Building rapport is how humans connect. We identify, we share feelings and establish two-way communications, just like any other animal. Rapport develops out of meaningful conversations and willingness to embrace different viewpoints, for sure. So why is it important? Well, my take, rapport is important because it allows us to connect and build relationships with others. It promotes connections with others on a personal level and helps establish comfortable living and working environments. Great rapport facilitates the development of emotional intelligence and interpersonal skills. So how do you do it? I'll give you six tips for connecting with others. Verbal communication and verbal communication skills aren't enough to establish a strong relationship with other people or other groups. Building rapport requires a number of social skills that are really necessary to just freaking effectively communicate with others in life. Techniques for building rapport include, and my this is my list, remembering people's names. Make it a point to remember people's names and faces, as this shows attentive, attentiveness and an interest and who they are. Remembering people builds trust, paving your way for an open dialogue and good communications. 
Second thing I wrote down was find common ground. Relating to other persons and people by identifying a shared experience, trait, or opinion is a good way to find common ground. I'm a Jeep owner. You get around at a bunch of other Jeep owners and there's a camaraderie there that just happens. It's really a neat phenomenon. This type of empathy is an important tool for connecting with other individuals as it demonstrates an understanding of their feelings and past experiences or likes. Third thing is actively listen. Active listening means your full attention to someone who is speaking. You have given them your full attention. It's an important communication skill as it encourages openness and honesty. Always remember to listen to learn not to respond. Active listening helps foster conversational atmosphere. It's like inevitable and leads to effective communication. If someone feels like they are being heard or that you're hearing them, they will likely listen to you in return, which can establish huge amounts of, of camaraderie, trust, a good relationship, and build a great rapport. Number four, ask questions. When you ask follow-up questions during a conversation, you demonstrate interest in what they're saying and what their point of view is. This reveals, in my opinion, that you're listening closely and want to know more. Asking questions can eliminate uncomfortable small talk and help you get into a more meaningful conversation. One I'm really big on, which is the soft skills, is mind your body language. Body language is huge. Nonverbal communication is central to building rapport. Pay attention to your nonverbal cues and mannerisms, body posture, eye contact, voice inflection, facial expression. When someone is speaking to you, face them. Make comfortable eye contact and mirror their expressions as they speak. This shows that they are tuned into their feelings. Be wary of body language that signals disinterest. Looking at your phone or your clock or your watch can indicate that you have no authentic interest in what that person is speaking to you about, which can be a detrimental and that trust is hard to re regain, both personal and working relationships. And the last thing that I'll leave you with is reserve judgment on people. That's huge. Good rapport develops when someone understands that they can share their feelings and ideas without being fucking punched in the throat or being judged. When your friends, family, and coworkers are speaking, withhold your criticism because nobody really cares and only share advice or information that if they requested. When you do offer critique, emphasize positivity, and facilitate openness, it's a game changer. So offer it up a lot. And remember, your feelings, ideas, and criticisms need to be really looked at before you offer them up. We'll be covering rapport again in the near future. But if you're a business owner or a salesperson, your sole purpose of your business is to do nothing but acquire customers. And the better that you can be at that with lead gen follow-up and building rapport, you'll build a forever business. Hope you found this helpful. You guys take care. Be safe. Sell a bunch. Ciao. All right, you guys. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Productive Not Busy podcast with me, Wayne Weathersby. Hey, do me a favor. Go to wherever you listen to this podcast and hit the subscribe button or the like button. Leave us a review. We are heading towards the top of the charts and I need your help. It would be much appreciated. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for listening. Be safe. Take care. See you next time. Hey, everybody. We're excited today to announce that we have a new sponsor to the Productive Not Busy podcast. Do me a favor. Go visit my friends at Paddleboard Junkie paddleboardjunkie.com. If you're into paddleboarding, this is a great website. They're based in Central Florida and they have a great offering of t-shirts and hats and stickers, some really cool limited edition stuff that you need to check out. Again, that's paddleboardjunkie.com. We'd like to welcome them aboard. Go there and take a look at their website, paddleboardjunkie.com.